Horns up and welcome to Easy Keto Cooking Week on Headbangers Kitchen where we're making dishes with 5 ingredients or less. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and if you want to know when I upload a new video, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Alternatively, if you're one of those people who hates the notifications, just go to headbangerskitchen.com and subscribe to our newsletter and we'll send the recipes straight to your inbox. Anyway, today we're going to be cooking up a delicious Thai style fried rice using some ground pork and using some Thai curry paste and coconut milk. It's going to be delicious guys. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make that delicious keto Thai style fried rice. So to make this recipe, we're going to need half a kilo of riced and cooked cauliflower, 250 grams of ground pork, two tablespoons of green curry paste, one chopped spring onion, 200 ml of coconut milk, salt to taste, and coconut oil. Now guys, before we get cooking, in case you don't know how to rice and cook cauliflower, just click here on the i button and watch one of my older videos where I show you how to make and cook cauliflower rice. Now, you must also be wondering about the paste that we're using. This is a ready-made Thai green curry paste, but it has no added sugar and it's also only 1.7 grams of carbs per serving which is 15 grams and we're using two servings which means our carbs from the paste are only 3.4 grams which is going to go across four servings which means it boils down to about one gram of carbs per serving so guys don't be afraid to use thai green curry paste from a bottle pre-made of course, if you have the time and inclination to make your own, there's nothing like it. So go right ahead. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to start by getting the wok on the stove and I'm going to heat up our coconut oil. Then I'm going to add our curry paste into the coconut oil. And of course, you know what to do. Give it all a good mix. You want to kind of start frying off that curry paste. Then into the curry paste, I'm going to add our ground pork and give it all a good mix. And of course, make sure that you season the pork a bit. So give it a good seasoning with some salt and give it all another good mix. You want to make sure that you stir the pork around, you break up the mince. You don't want big chunks of mince. You want nice individual grains of mince. You want like mince pork in every bite. Of course, if you like it chunky, well, you can keep it chunky, no problem. Then I'm going to add in the white and the middle part of the spring onion. And once again, just give it all a good mix. Mix, 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 mix. Once that's done and it's cooking down, I'm going to add in our coconut milk. And once again, give it all a good mix. Let everything incorporate together. Let that coconut milk be flavored with the curry paste and the pork juices and ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, honestly, at this point, you can just pour this over the cauliflower rice and eat it. I'm going to taste it though for seasoning. It seems like it needs a little salt and I'm going to do just that. Season it with some salt. So like I said, you could just eat it as it is now, pour it over your cauliflower rice. But I want a cauliflower fried rice. So I'm going to pour in my cooked cauliflower into that. And then as you all know, in fact, I'm not even going to say it. You guys say it. Let me hear you say it. I can't hear you guys. You need to say it louder. Anyway, we did what you just said. And uh, now you just let it cook for a bit. Now for some reason I've been watching a lot of Korean food videos so I'm looking to get some nurungi which is basically the crispy burnt rice at the bottom of a hot dish. So when you cook the rice sometimes you just cook it a little more than you're supposed to so you get like a little brown crust at the bottom of the pan and I'm looking for that. So I'm cooking this for as long as I can and oh yeah once you've achieved the nurungi if you want it that is you're going to finish it off with the spring onion greens. And that's pretty much it. 
your Thai fried rice with ground pork or minced pork as we call it in India is ready and boy it doesn't get any easier than this and trust me it definitely looks delicious to my eyes I hope it does to yours as well anyway time to taste hey folks so now it's time to taste the pork fried rice and I am loving it I must inform you though that I did put a whole tablespoon of butter over my fried rice because well I wanted to up the fat macros because I only used about a tablespoon of coconut oil while cooking and the pork does have fat and so does the coconut milk but I think uh, the macros if you're looking for higher fat macros this might have more protein we'll know once I calculate them while you're reading the post on headbangerskitchen.com anyway let me taste now oh wow mm. that is amazing wow I'm not kidding you guys this is a bowl of happiness right here um, I will be honest we can make this more complicated we can put in more herbs more fresh ingredients things like mushrooms spinach just to make it more rounded and well balanced but I was going with the five ingredient thing so I stuck to it but trust me guys this is the bomb and as you guys know I love pork fried rice you know chicken fried rice is good seafood fried rice is good but there's just something about pork in fried rice that just takes it to the next level oh you could also put an egg in this omelette you know like most egg fry oh I think I'm gonna do that but not on camera off camera anyway enough jibber jab I hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, next we'll have the last and final episode of the five ingredient cooking week or the easy keto cooking week so leave me all your suggestions and comments below any recipe requests Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Bye. So I'm just going to stand here and eat for about 20 seconds while you see these uh, recommended videos pop up around me. It's a very cool YouTube feature, but you can only do it for 20 seconds. So once 20 seconds are up, so will I be gone. And so will the video end. And so I shall eat the rice. Fabulous.